from Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's the first round of the Meyer LPGA Classic from Blindsfield Country Club. Lots of great scoring out there. Lexi Thompson here on the par 5 16th runs her ball up to a couple of feet. She would end up knocking that in for birdie and finish the day at 4 under 68. Jackie Concalino found the 479 yard par 5 16th in two shots and ran in this putt for an eagle. She would wrap up her round with a 3 under 69. Lizette Silas drops in this 12-footer into the cup for birdie on her final hole of the day, the par 4 ninth. That putt finished off her bogey-free 6 under 66. Brooke Henderson also found some fortune on her last hole as she holds this long putt for a birdie that moved her to 3 under 69 for the day. Celine Herbin added a French flag to the top of the leaderboard as she ran in this birdie on the par 4 17th. She would end up with a 6 under 66. Sue O oh would also make a run towards the leaders on Thursday afternoon. She had this 10 foot eagle putt on the 16th. Ball tracking towards the hole, and she would end up finding the bottom of the cup, shooting 6 under 66. Michelle Wee struggled during the early part of her round, but made this birdie on her 10th hole, the par 5 first, to get back to even par. Wee ended up making seven birdies on her way to a 3 under 69. Anna Norquist found some birdies as well out there on the course, including this one on the par 5 11th hole. She finished her bogey free round with a 6 under 66. Despite all the great rounds on the golf course, two players rose to the top of the leaderboard. So Yun Ru rolls in this birdie putt on the 17th hole on the way to posting an 8 under 64. She would be joined in first place by Kelly Sean, who ran in this birdie putt on the 9th hole, her 18th for the day, to finish birdie eagle birdie. Be sure to catch second round coverage of the Meyer LPGA Classic on Friday at 1.30 Eastern on Golf Channel.